Welcome back to the RipeWave Audio community. My name is John, and for this video, we're going to show you how we cleaned up the speaker wiring for our rear surround speakers in our system. And uh, if you recall from earlier videos, we've had a speaker wire hanging down uh, from the back of these speakers across the front of the cabinets uh, down and, and, and with the door propped open so the, ca the uh, cable could go into it. So not very elegant. So why did this all happen is because when we had this room built, the cabinets weren't put in first. We thought we had the foresight of running speaker cable across the ceiling from the front of the room to the back. In the back of the room, we put a traditional speaker wall plate on the left side and the right side uh, with this there. And when we put had this uh, later on, the, the cabinets built in front of it, yes, these did poke through, but how do we get the speaker wire uh, to that? Now we could have drilled a hole through the cabinet, the, the countertop here, which I really didn't want to drill into the, uh, the countertop. Uh, so the alternate plan, uh, what we came up with, and we just got around to doing, was to send those speaker wires up uh, through the wall and out a very discreet hole. So how do we do this? Instead of putting the traditional, and this is like a, 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 a for example, a monoprice two-speaker wall plate is somewhere between uh, $8.50 for a two-piece version or uh, $9.58 for a one-piece version. Instead of using these, we decided to use, and, and that would be quite visible, using these very small pass-through uh, bushings, as they call it. And this, this particular brand is from Skywalker. It's available on Amazon. They call this a dual feed uh, through bushing. And they sell these in packs of 100 for $12.99 or $13. So really quite affordable. And as long as your speaker cable uh, can accommodate the, the opening here. Now we have uh, two, because we buy or wire these speakers, not entirely necessary, but we do. But we have two 12 gauge uh, cables going through this. Uh, so that's that's perfectly fine, and what we believe it's it creates a nice, uh, much cleaner look here than uh, putting this whole a, a full traditional wall plate plate on the wall. And if we decide to ever do something different here, we could always patch up a hole for this a lot easier than we could patch up a hole if we do a traditional wall plate. Of course, if you're in different countries. Uh, the wall plates will be a different style. This is a, a decor style uh, uh, speaker wall plate. Now, alternately, if we have a lot more cables to pass through than just a couple of 12 gauge wires, you can get the decor or I'm sure other um, country style uh, wall plates that have a, a brush in it, such as the Leviton uh, 41075 uh, Decora brush uh, pass-through plates, and those sell for about $6. And we used those upstairs recently when we put the outdoor speakers in. So this is really a, you know, quite a, a simple video, just to give you an, another idea about how you can come out of your walls and, and into your speakers. And we do really do like these um, pass-through options a lot better than using uh, a wall plate. Because not only does the wall plate take up more room, but you actually have to cut the wire at the wall, do your terminations, put another wire from the wall plate to your speakers, and why not have a more continuous wire and also a wire that you can adjust the length a little bit. Uh, this could be pushed up into the wall and accommodate uh, uh, longer runs. If I want to pull these out, uh, that's, that, that extra length, when we, we run this, 
we make sure there's a little extra length in the wall that if we want to pull these out, it can accommodate them. And if we want to push it back in, we can just stuff that wire in so it's not having to be coiled up on the countertop. So some other options for you to consider when you're coming out of your walls and into your space. If you like this video, and of course, if you have your own suggestions of how to do some wiring out, out of the wall, we'd like to hear about them. But if you did like this video, please like and subscribe to this RipeWave Audio community, and be sure to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when the next video is posted. Until then, keep evolving your audio experience.